Hi all, I am going to talk about how to create uh, a pivot table using VBA and how to refresh data in a pivot table. Before I move ahead, uh, I will compare the options uh, of writing a code versus recording it. So whenever we use, use a recorded code, uh, we should take care to change the input to a uh, range name so that we can move the input data we should use loops to remove the redundant part and we should use loops like for each pivot or for each range or for each cell the things that we should avoid in recording is hard coding of cells uh, dot selection redundancy and unnecessary moving around that could be eliminated so that we could still not change state and do the same work now here in this example I will share a code on how to create a pivot table and how to refresh the data for that pivot table. So again this is a code that I recorded and I did some changes. So the first part of the code is uh, the creation part. The input here is a name range. The output here is again a named range. And the name of the pivot table is again taken from a named range. So these are the three named ranges. I have changed each input to named ranges so that this uh, this macro would still work uh, if we change things. The only thing that we have to change here is uh, uh, is on the Excel sheet. So uh, we don't need to change anything here. So let's try to run this. So when we create this, we will see a pivot table in the output. So create pivot table so the output is here so when we click here we'll see a pivot table being created and the entries are uh, the one that uh, that we have recorded now if you want if we change some values here for example if we change this to like 19 and 31 or 45 we see that changes are not moving around here so let's look at the refresh button and that would change the input that we have in the pivot table. So I'm linking this into the refresh table and it has now changed the input. So this is the configuration of the pivot table and how we can create that and refresh the data so if we don't have one we can create that and we can use the refresh button to refresh that so the entire thing is modified from recorder and again the best practice here is uh, on how to use the recorder to get the best code so uh, everything is in the in the form of range names if i want to extend this and i want to create new tables that i want to refresh so the idea would be to create this range and put the name of the pivot table and just click refresh button so then the pivot table with these names get refreshed so this is there in the full version of the same file now let's look at the code on how it works if you look at the course it's divided into two big chunks the first chunk uh, is where we get the input and the second big chunk is where we select uh, the pivot parameters on things that we want to keep uh, on the x-axis y-axis and the things that we want to jumble around so those are the two sections in the refresh pivot table we have got the input and we have got the pivot dot cache dot refresh that would actually refresh the pivot table so this is how you can do a lot of automation in creation as well as uh, refreshing pivot table just be careful when you record things and make sure you do the changes so that you can still run everything from the excel platform thank you for listening to this small recording and for more details you can check out the website